in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends today is the last day of may a month dedicated to mary and on this last day 31st of may we celebrate the memorial of the visitation of the blessed virgin mary let's listen to the gospel and i think it would be nice that we see the history of the feast before we listen to the gospel reading of course the gospel reading is about the visitation for close to 6 centuries the visitation was celebrated on 2nd of july but with this revision of the roman calendar in 1969 pope paul the 6th moved the celebration to the last day of the marian month of may so that it would fall between the feast of the annunciation and the birth of saint john the baptist the placement of the feast in the liturgical calendar is obviously out of sync with the account given by luke hence we understand that symbolism rather than chronology was the deciding factor symbolism rather than chronology was the deciding factor that's a brief history of the institution of the feast or the memorial of the visitation now let's listen to the gospel reading from luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 56 in those days mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a city of juda and she entered the house of zachariah and greeted elizabeth And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary the child leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit and she exclaimed with a loud cry blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb and why is this granted me that the mother of my lord should come to me for behold when the voice of your greeting came to my ears the child in my womb leaped for joy and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the lord and mary said My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior for he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden for behold henceforth all generations will call me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation he has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts he has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of low degree he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away he has helped his servant israel 
in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to Abraham and to his posterity forever and Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ The feast of today, it's a feast, not a memorial, can inspire us in many ways. As per Luke's narration, my dear friends, both Mary and Elizabeth were pregnant. If one had just received the announcement, of the birth of the Savior, the other was already in the sixth month of pregnancy with the forerunner of the Savior. Upon entering the house, Mary greeted Elizabeth. It is just a word of simple greeting and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and the child leaped in her womb. Can we imagine what a simple greeting can do? A greeting with love and warmth can fill the other with extreme joy and life. We need to learn to greet each other with genuine warmth and affection. Mary paid a visit to her cousin, who was in the sixth month, and she stayed with her three months, which could mean Mary perhaps assisted Elizabeth in giving birth to John. Look at the sacrifice Mary made. Many of us have no time to visit the sick and suffering, much less stay with them to bring comfort and happiness, but above all, to make someone feel loved, appreciated and cared by our visit is the task of every Christian. God visits us always through ordinary people and events. Many find it difficult to recognize the divine presence in a visit. We need to learn from Elizabeth and the babe in her womb how to respond to a visitation of God himself in various forms. Every visit should be a moment of grace and the experience of the divine presence. Mary, my dear friends, for the first time today, exercises the function of being a mediatrix. She becomes the medium through which Elizabeth receives grace and joy from God. Elizabeth recognizes this fact by exclaiming, Hail Mary, full of grace. All of us, all of us have the mission of being mediators between God and others. Let us pray. My dear friends, as we see in today's Bible diary, it's the birthday of Jackson de Costa from Sirsi, Honnavar. We wish him happy birthday and also all the others who are celebrating their birthday and we pray for all of them. It's the 24th wedding anniversary of 
Eric and Lynette Sequeira from Kulshekar Mangalore and the wedding anniversary of Meenu and Jennifer Dias from Ahmedabad congratulations my dear couples and also all the others who are getting married and those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries may god bless your married life and we pray for the departed soul of t george from sikandarabad may the lord grant him eternal rest as we are aware a new government is sworn in in india we pray for the government we pray for good monsoon this year we pray for our children many of them have started their schooling schools have reopened we pray for our children and also many others who are cele- uh, who are writing their exams we pray for them O oh, blessed virgin mary intercede for us that we may bring joy love warmth hope and peace to as many people as possible amen may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen This is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite priest. Wish you a happy feast. And my WhatsApp number is 9481263229. 9481263229. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.